It's good to see you again. Same to you. I see you've brought an entourage. Yes. You have, long or, time or, in or the have making. the entourage brought you? Long time in the <laughs> making. Indeed. Now, religious identity, religious, uh, religious connection, being able to find your truth when you search through the Bible, when you search through, you know, your own self, when you look for spiritual, you know, atonement, right? Why? Why Israel? Why the Israel United? What what is it? What is it about this group that stands out to somebody that would have been raised, I imagine, very similar to me? Um, but why would you then move towards an unorthodox grouping of, of religious people? Well, like you said, Mr. Miller, growing up here in the Bahamas, we all grew up under the Christian mm -hmm. faith. And most of it... Um, most of it you found it to be lies mm -hmm. and coming across israel united in christ um it's been made clear to me that i can <coughs> see my identity my history um the prophecies that is meant for me fulfilled in the bible mm -hmm. and that's my truth i've found the truth so you found yeah you found so you know because i mean there are people that will say that well i found my truth doing what it is that my parents taught me um for me, many times I, I I tell people that I found my truth. Like like people argue with me all the time that Christianity is an inculcation given to slaves, right? And I don't believe that. Like it doesn't make sense to me. And the reason it doesn't make sense is because if the white man thought that I was less than a human, why would he give me his God to worship? It just wouldn't make sense. So that is the thing that grounds me, right? But what what is the thing that you think most grounds you in this thought? of your of your faith or your belief that you have in fact found the truth well in using the bible it wasn't projected to us in the correct form mm -hmm. it takes us and the prophets here today to to relay that particular message that is within the bible for us to understand um you can see the plight of our people um being um depicted in the bible under the curses of deuteronomy 28 mm -hmm. and and others all throughout it talks about our plight and and in the society and where we are today mm -hmm. so 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 you're one of those people then i imagine well first of all that would mean that your group actually subscribes <coughs> to the bible the regular bible the yes Holy. the regular like, have King a special... James bible no okay, special great. bible the same bible that it's in all of our churches mm -hmm. um we just read the whole bible. i just want to make sure because you know people tell me all the time the problem is see you are only reading the Bible, and that's your biggest mistake. And I, you know, that don't make sense for me. Like, when I read a book by Dr. Miles Monroe, I don't go and read a book by Joel Olstein to cross-reference Miles Monroe's book. You, you, you follow where I'm going? Yes. I, I read the book, and I understand the book, and I see what the book says I should, shouldn't do, you know, could do, can't do, that kind <clears throat> of stuff, right? So, so you're saying to me then that what you have realized or discovered over this time is that there is more to the book a lot more to the book than what we've been told but you but you but you you reference deuteronomy right and there are some people particularly liberal christians that would say there's no need to even go back to the old testament like the old testament was the book of law the books of law was made for a specific grouping of people those laws were for the children of israel that's my argument like don't tell me nothing what leviticus because that for the Israelites, and that ain't had nothing to do with me, right? That's my argument. So I'm gonna wear my cotton pants with my rayon necktie. I'm gonna have wine. I'm gonna eat swine sometimes because the book of Deuteronomy and Leviticus don't have nothing to do with me. Matthew was the dawn of a new day in Christianity. Christ died, and as now you can see, his he died for the remission of my sin. And look at the word remission. It means when I sin and then sin again and then sin again, Christ could just take care of that, right? Well, that's the misconception that we all have under Christianity with the Bible. Mm -hmm. We are actually the true children of God, the Israelites. So I'm an Israelite. Yes, you are. And okay. that's why I brought the prophets here today to further explain that okay. to you. All right. Well, the prophets are here. I, I've been joined in the studio also by Captain Isaac, Soldier Elijah, and Soldier Reuben. And they're here from the Israel United in Christ. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm Good great. Good I'm morning. glad to be here. All praises to the Most High God, first and foremost, and His Son, Jesus the Christ. Where does Israel United get its 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 nucleus? Where did it begin? What 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 what, 
what caused there to be an Israel United? In okay. Um, it all started with a man named Bishop Nathaniel, mm -hmm. also known as Elder Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. The Most High has uh, moved his spirit and endowed him with wisdom and understanding of this Bible to bring the word out and gather the elect of Israel in the diaspora, mm -hmm. not only those in America, but those scattered abroad. And it was founded in the year 2003 and we're still here today. 2003? Yes, sir. That's, that's, that's pretty recent if you consider yeah, the other. That's the, the church, um, Israel United in Christ, has been founded in 2003. However, the, um, the dogma or the ideology of us being Israel has been here for almost a century. Okay. So uh, we spoke about finding your truth mm -hmm. religiously, for finding your truth spiritually, right? People need something to tie themselves to. That is a human desire, right? Why not the conventional gospel? Like, Well, the conventional, when you say conventional gospel, you would have to elaborate on that. On that. What's well, the conventional you say, gospel? You say that we are all the descendants of the diaspora of, of Israel. Mm -hmm. Israel is still a country, a city that exists today. Well, Israel is a people before it's a place. Okay. Because when you read the Bible, what did God call us? He called us the children, children of, of Israel. Israel. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't talking about a particular landmass. Because remember that landmass was called Canaan, Canaan before it was inhabited by us. Mm -hmm. He always referred us to the children of Israel, or house of Israel, or lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are that lost sheep. We are the people that's been robbed for a, a sense of self self-identity mm -hmm. our self-esteem our pride has been stripping away our culture and our nationality has been taken from us all because of result of breaking god's commandments so you're saying then that all of the all of the challenges we face now as a people is because of the fact that we have not lived lived sorry by by the old testament law is that, is that, is that well what, is that? let me let me show you what god says sure let's get deuteronomy 28 I want you to start at verse 15. We're going mm -hmm. to the book of Deuteronomy. Remember, the Bible, brothers and sisters, is our constitution. Mm -hmm. There is no Old Testament and New Testament as far as parts of the book. A lot of people like to separate that because mm -hmm. that's what they push today in these modern uh, Christian churches. Mm -hmm. um, what we have is an old covenant and a new covenant, meaning right. an old promise and a new promise. Let me show you what would befall the children of Israel for their disobedience. And we're still disobedient today here on this island of Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. So the great, the late and great Moses told us, if we did not hearken and listen to the voice of God, meaning the commandments that he mandated to the children of Israel, mm -hmm. curses shall befall us. And that's not far-fetched. Mm -hmm. Do you have kids, sir? I do. Okay. And they live with you? Mm -hmm. All right. So your children in your own house, you have laws that you have in your house. You have rules. Right. Okay. And if they don't follow your rules, you punish them. Mm -hmm. All right. You chastise them. You might um, not give them maybe a weekly allowance. Maybe you n might not allow them to watch uh, a certain amount of TV mm -hmm. time. They can't mm -hmm. go outside and play for the day because your children disobeyed you. It's the same thing with our with our father, God, who lives up in the heavens. It's the same thing. We're going to read some of those punishments. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Whose sons and daughters were given unto another people? You're talking about the slave Nation. Right. Ah, very good. You're mm -hmm. a smart man. Mm -hmm. Good intelligence. Um, yes, the slave trade. Mm -hmm. Not only the transatlantic, but the sub-Saharan. A lot of times we like to think of the transatlantic because that was the most previous. Mm -hmm. But even before that, we was given away to another race of people, the Arabs first, and then in the transatlantic slave trade, the lovely so-called white man. Our sons and daughters were the ones that was given unto another people. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, there shall be no might in thine hand. 
we didn't have the economic might or the military might to go against our oppressors mm. okay so even in the book of deuteronomy has the curses you can play the game of process of elimination does this fit our people or does this fit the so-called white man in the landmass of israel today calling himself a jew or jewish mm -hmm. okay wish to be a jew they're not the jews they don't fit none of these curses in the bible the curses are for you and i to remember who we are in these latter days the mm -hmm. curses is a sign and a wonder upon our people let's read on verse 33 the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up and the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up when they came up against us over there in africa west coast of africa and scattered all throughout africa mm -hmm. the white man whether it be the dutch whether it be the uh, french mm -hmm. whether it be the british we didn't speak their tongue we didn't know them we weren't hanging around with them giving them high fives we weren't celebrating the same feast days as them they came over there dragged us over here on this side of the world uh, via transatlantic slave trade and they forced their religions upon us they forced their culture upon us that's what was so destroyed today that's why two weeks from today you're gonna have many people on the island of bahamas celebrating what we call christmas mm -hmm. which is not in the bible these things were forced on us whipped into our backs and now we uphold their traditions how, did, how then do you how then do you explain to me black oppression because you know <clears throat> i say often to people I'm, I'm, I'm less concerned with racism than I am with classism, which is racism of color, right? Mm -hmm. And what has happened is black people have exalted themselves, for the lack of a better term, and put themselves in positions where they can be better than other black people, right? What, you, what, you're, what you're saying to me sounds as though uh, um, the children of Israel alone are susceptible to the punishment but by the hands of a foreign nation. But th to be quite honest, there yeah. are people of color that are being oppressed by people of color. Well, the masses, the masses, the masses of people that have oppressed us are the other nation. Do we have people of color oppressing others as far as, like, say, black on black violence, which you have on this island? Absolutely. But that's because we've been so destroyed for people. Get me Jose in four and six. That's because we've been destroyed for our self identity, our culture. We have nothing. Mm. So what we do, we take out this aggression on our own brother. So how do you how do you how do you then explain to me though? people from this from this african israel diaspora mm -hmm. that are not being oppressed that are doing absolutely well that have not felt the 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 economic violence visited upon upon them that have that have that have done well that have seemed to be prosperous that, mm -hmm. that don't seem to be suffering from any one of the punishments that that was given to the children of israel because i mean you have to admit that there are in fact people from the diaspora mm -hmm. people that are of african descent or people of color that are in fact quite prosperous in the world absolutely and you're 100 percent correct and i'm going to answer that in one second get me hosea 4 and 6 real quick hosea 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge i will also reject thee so god tells us my people no, and see the possessive noun there. My people, the children of Israel, mm -hmm. have been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And because of that, God said he's going to reject us. The knowledge, Malachi 2 verse 7, the knowledge that we have rejected is written in the Bible. All our solutions is written in the Bible. But what we do is we close the book and we put it on the coffee table and it sits there collecting dust. Now it's time to wipe the dust off the Bible and read it so we can get up out of here. Mm. I want to go home. I don't know about you. Tired of oppression. Tired of seeing my nation always at the bottom. I want to rule this planet Earth as it was ordained for the Israelites to do. Mm -hmm. And I want to rule with my brothers and sisters. It's time we got to keep these commandments so we could go home. Malachi. Come on. Malachi 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge mm -hmm. and they should seek the law at his mouth. You hear that? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. So the knowledge that we rejected were the laws of God. 
Mm. The knowledge that we rejected is the laws of God. Now, you made a point. You said something about those who have prospered. Right. Right. Um, for example, like your your artist, your um, black athletes, your black athletes, um, your Usain, who's, uh, what is his name? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Right. Name some people from Bahamas. So that's Jamaica. Well, we have me, we uh, have Moses rejected. We have the Golden rejected. Boys and we have mm -hmm. the Golden Girls. They're all black people okay. that have done well, that have made well, that have been prosperous, that have prospered in this system. That I that, that that I am also willing to bet may not necessarily subscribe of course, to the idea because they're rich. Of course, they're rich. Nor will they. Now, just, nor will they subscribe to the idea that that mm -hmm. they that they. They are somehow going to get on a boat or get on a something one day and be transported back to Africa to inherit prosperity. Oh, nah, we ain't going on that ship. Mm -hmm. but that's for a different topic. We're going on another ship. Okay, but that's that's a different topic. Right now, we're here to discuss the the um the milk of the word, not the meat. Some people can't swallow the milk, but they want to chew on a steak. But as far as what you said about they're not going to accept it. What we got to realize, we can never rise above our nation. Mm. No one man, your P. Diddy's, your uh, Usain Bolt, they could never rise above their nation. They, where, some countries they still go to, other nations still consider them the N-word, a Negro. Mm. Okay? Oprah, she, at one time she was the richest black woman. Mm -hmm. Just recently, a Nigerian woman took her place. Mm -hmm. But when she was considered the richest black woman, she went over there, I believe, to either France or Italy. She was in, um, I believe it was a Gucci or Louis Vuitton store. Normally, when celebrities go into these stores, what do they do? They close down the store right. so they could shop at peace. And they won't be uh, uh, heckled by fans or other people mm -hmm. want to take pictures. When this lady came to the store to buy, do you know they called her the N-word? And it would not let her in the store. That's and a Oprah prime. E yes, Oprah Winfrey. That is a prime example that we cannot rise above our nation. Mm -hmm. We can never rise above our nation. Okay. Get me um, Acts seven twenty two. So yes, you have. You might have celebrities that reach the. Mm -hmm. They is to support this truth. Their job is to support this truth. But what about the people mm -hmm. that say that this truth only became available to me in 2003? I mean, if you consider the fact that, that there have been scriptures that have gone back from the 80s, possibly some of them as far as the BCs, if you consider the Old Testament. I know you say that there is no such thing as old law and new law, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> there are people that will say that, you know, the covenant that was made in the New Testament if you consider the fact that Jesus himself said, listen, I didn't come to do away with the law. I came mm -hmm. to fulfill the law. And mm -hmm. the fact that the law has been fulfilled through me, there is no need for you to continue to try to fulfill the law. H how do you deal with those people? Well, because, I mean, it's easy to say <clears throat> that people should repent toward the truth, right? Mm -hmm. But truth typically is typically based on people's perception where they sit where they stand and what they understand it is almost like a very popular christian debate that's, that's taking place in the church right now mm -hmm. as to whether or not people <clears throat> should still perform in the name of jesus because in fact the letter j is only 600 years old and if mm -hmm. jesus left this earth 2000 years ago certainly there could be no jesus because there would be no j mm -hmm. and that his name was yeshua and even though the bible gives leave to that mm -hmm. right the the, 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 the the question becomes if people are still operating with substance in the name of Jesus then then does the argument of truth hold weight there as to whether or not yes yes it does I'm I'm gonna show you why okay first let's find out what is truth what is truth what is truth give me Psalms 119 142 this is the book of Psalms 119 verse 142 thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. The law of God is the truth. The law of God is the truth. His laws, statutes, and commandments <coughs> is the truth. Okay, now go to the book of Matthews, please. Chapter 5, verse 17. Let's elaborate on that to show you exactly what our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, fulfilled. Matthew 5, 17, please. Matthew 5, verse 17. Think not. That I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. So Christ out of his mo own mouth said, think not that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. Where's the law written? In the Old Testament. 
okay from which is the first five books of moses as well as the tanakh where you find the writings of the prophets what Price, is the tanakh the tanakh is all the writings of the prophets for example the book of jeremiah would be considered the tanakh okay the book of ezekiel isaiah would be considered the tanakh habakkuk nahum and all those mm -hmm. would be considered the tanakh okay okay tanakh just means torah and prophets okay that's all it means okay read i am not come to destroy but to fulfill mm -hmm. for verily i say unto you mm -hmm. till heaven and earth pass now my question to you brother has heaven and earth passed is when you go outside when you look up can you still see the heavens the yes. skies okay or are you still on earth yes okay christ said till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle one jot or one tittle in hebrew that's called the yod the jot okay one little jot can change a letter christ is telling you the most little jot most little jot has not been erased yet meaning the most little laws the small laws like don't shave your beard women don't wear pants those are small laws. Mm -hmm. If we can't keep the small laws, there's no way we can keep the big laws. Mm -hmm. Like thou shalt not commit adultery. Come on. So shall one it, jot and one tittle. Shall it no wise pass from the law? Uh-huh. Till all be fulfilled. Has all been fulfilled yet? No. Because the children of Israel are still under the hands of their oppressors. Christ has yet to make his second return. Mm -hmm. Read. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. Now, what are we reading? The Bible. Mm -hmm. What are we reading? The New Testament, which mm -hmm. Christians love to quote. Mm -hmm. We're reading the words of Christ. Christ said, if you shall break one of these least commandments, come on. And shall teach men so. So you teach by verbiage and you also teach by example. That's how you teach, by verbiage and example, your actions, come on. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. And there will be no least in the kingdom of heaven. It's not going to be a doorman. Like little jobs that we take in society today that we consider least, that some people might frown upon. Like, uh, example, maybe um, in the United States, I would have to. I'm making reference to the U.S. because I don't know about here. But let's say a garbage man or a janitor or somebody who sweeps the floor. Some people might walk past them and shun that. Like, mm -hmm. I would never do that that's not going to be in the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. so when christ says they shall be least in the kingdom of heaven that means you're going to die he's going to put you to death when he comes back matthew 7 and 21 and then get me hebrews 10 so we could find out what christ fulfilled matthew 7 and 21 come on matthew 7 verse 21 not every one that saith unto me lord lord shall mm -hmm. enter into his kingdom mm -hmm. into the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. But he that doth the will of my father. He that doeth the will of my father. Now you got to ask yourself, what is the will? Some people might say, well, getting a haircut is the will. Or praying before I go to sleep. Or giving um, uh, my brother who's homeless, Mr. Tyrone, down the block, $5 when I see him. Mm -hmm. What is the will of God? Proverbs 40 and 8. Psalms 40 and 8. Psalms 40 and 8. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Mm -hmm. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. It all goes back to the law. Mm -hmm. I asked you a question earlier and I said, sir, do you have children? You said yes. Mm -hmm. I said, if your children disobey your law that you put in your house, would you chastise them? You said yes. Mm -hmm. So why when it comes to God, there is this malfunction this and this malfunction in our brain. I can't compute. I cannot compute. I cannot compute. You know why? Because the white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, he's the one that came and taught us another Jesus. He the one that came and taught us the traditions of men. So, so our fear Jesus. towards God mm -hmm. is taught by the precepts of man. Mm -hmm. What man? The white man. But hold on. Before you get to your next question, Hebrews 10. Let's find out what did Christ fulfill. Come on. Hebrews 10 verse 1. No. Start at verse 5. Verse 5. He saith, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not so sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not god put christ in place to do away with the law mm -hmm. what law the sacrificial law if you commit adultery with your neighbor's wife you don't they, you don't you can't go to the temple in jerusalem mm -hmm. because christ understood that we would be scattered in the diaspora and the temple would be destroyed and the heathens would inhabit israel until he comes back normally you would be put to death for adultery but there were certain laws that you broke that you would have to go and sacrifice. 
Christ is the ultimate sacrifice. That's why in the book of Matthew it said, Behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. We were sacrificing lambs as a blood offering for our sins. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that no more because of Christ. That is the law that Christ fulfilled. Read. But a body hast thou prepared me. The body that was prepared was our Lord and Savior. Come on. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. So the Most High didn't have any pleasure in that. Because we would sacrifice and go commit wickedness again. That's why he kept on sending us into captivity. Assyrian, Babylonian, Mede. Mm -hmm. When did it stop? We keep going from slavery to slavery, oppression and oppression. Now we're here in Bahamas. Y'all think Bahamas is your land. Did not the white man bring you over here? I don't know. I don't know. So, so okay. So you're saying that, that, that the Bible Jesus, saying. Uh, no, and I, I want to make sure I understand All the teaching right. now, mm. and, so, and that's why I've I've allowed you to go so that I mm. so that I so I get it right. Yes, sir. So, because there are some people, mm -hmm. right, and, I, and one person comes directly to my mind, Uncle mm -hmm. Sarah, who happens to be down there at the uh, Coptic Church of the Black Messiah, mm -hmm. right? There, there are people that will say that that this Jesus character was not a real thing and a creation by the Greco Romans or that that this Jesus just didn't exist and that in fact there was some other prophet that should have been the one that took away the sins of the world through his death, right? Mm -hmm. But here you are now. Mm -hmm. The doctrine sounding quite similar to that of, 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 of that I've heard from a lot of black mm -hmm. uh, religious groups. Mm -hmm. But you're saying that, that there was a, a real Jesus and then an indoctrinated Jesus? I, 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 well, oh, let me explain that. Let me explain that. The real Jesus is the black Messiah from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel, which is our kinsfolk. Mm -hmm. Okay? The other Jesus that I was making reference to, Matthew 24 and 5, please. The other Jesus that I was making reference to is this man. We're going to read it right now. We're going to read about him. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So the many that came in Jesus' name saying, I am Christ, or what are known as the Christians. You had the Anglican. You had the pilgrims. You had the people that called themselves Anglo-Saxons. They came over here on this side of the world teaching another gospel, teaching another Christ, calling themselves Christians. Mm -hmm. Come on. And shall deceive many. Were we deceived? Absolutely. Because this is our book. This is our book that they did, they did not allow us to read. That they took certain passages out and they put up an image of Caesar Borgia, the white man. A white man. A real. This guy was a real person that walked the earth. Mm -hmm. Who his father, Rodrigo Borgia, commissioned Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci to paint him. His son as the new Christ. They're the ones who came over here. And when they indoctrinated you, what did they show you? They showed you a white image of Jesus the Christ. When they came over in the Amerindians, the Iraq Indians, the Carib Indians that were here, what did they do? They slaughtered them and they pushed Christianity on them. What Christianity did, did they push on them? They didn't tell them that they were the Israelites. They didn't tell them that Christ was black. They pushed a white image on you and told you that, Lord, um, love everybody mm -hmm. Love everybody Forgive us for all the evil we've done Love everybody mm -hmm. But what happened to the love when they was whipping your backs When they enslaved you Get me 2 Corinthians 11 verse 4 What happened to the love then <coughs> There was no love then If it was true love mm -hmm. Tell me about it If it was really love brother In the name of Jesus mm -hmm. They would have told you that Christ looked just like you mm -hmm. They would have told you that you was an Israelite mm -hmm. They would have shared their wealth with you there was a but man. It, it there should was, have been my wealth to begin with. Then exactly, mm. um, they would have never stolen from you. Mm. There was a, there was a man who lived in Bahamas. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, brothers. Stratford, Stanford, Stafford, Stafford, the devil. And then you so-called <laughs> white people who are listening, if you are the descendants of that man, or you are operating in the same spirit of Stanford, Stafford, 
<laughs> Stanford, you are the devil that the Bible wow. speaks of. Let's and when Christ break. comes back, you are going into <laughs> slavery. Thus saith the Lord. But I'm Good morning and welcome to Let's Talk Live. Leaving Miller here. It's Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. It's your station for fresh news and smart <clears throat> talk all day. My telephone numbers, well, I don't know if I have to give them to you guys because the phone lines are lighting up. Let me, let me tell you something. In the Bahamas, if you talk about Haitian people or Jesus, people are going to call. That seems to always be, you know, the thing that gets them started. But the numbers are 323-622-325-4316, 325-4259. I'll say it again. You guys always say I say it too quickly. 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259. My text line 4224796. I'm joined in the studio by Israel United. They say they believe they've found the 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 truth about God and him coming back to collect the children of Israel and that we are all descendants of Israel. It's an interest, some interesting stuff. We got some calls on the line. I've got Captain Isaac, uh, uh, Soldier Elijah and Soldier Reuben in studio with me. And uh, I want to hear what it is that you guys have to say. So let's go to the phone lines. Good morning, caller. You're on. My brother, my brother, and my brothers in studio. Good morning. Hi. Lehman, how you doing? I good. This sound, this sound like Amos Miller. Yes, yes. And, and and for this day, I shall take the position, and I shall start from the book of Acts 26. I'm gonna start with verse two. This was Paul speaking to King Agrippa. Now remember, I want you, I'm gonna be brief, but you have a powerful show, so I have to bring it the way it came. Okay. Verse two. I think this is Paul speaking now. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews. Now I shall come over to verse 14. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, mm -hmm. and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, and by the way, sorry, this was Saul making his case now before the king. Did I say that already? Mm -hmm. King mm -hmm. Agrippa. This was someone who used to go around persecuting Christians. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, verse 14 continues saying, Why persecutest thou me? Paul heard Get him and his soldiers got knocked off their horse. For they were proceeding to destroy, lock up, and do what they used to do to Christians back then. Mm -hmm. Black people. Mm -hmm. These Christians who they talking about. By this time, Christ is already, whoever his name is, is already crucified. Okay. okay? And this is now the persecution that happened after the death of Christ. And one of the, per the chief persecutors, this is what he said, backing back just for a second in verse 5, which knew, in other words, Paul was saying here in this particular verse, verse 5, which knew me mm -hmm. from the beginning, if they would testify that after the most straightest sect of our religion, mm -hmm. I have lived a Pharisee. You see, so this ain't no ordinary person <coughs> talking to the king. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the king got to listen now. Watch this now. Verse 14 continues by saying, and the answer is, it says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou? It is hard to kick against the prick. The point I'm trying to make here is the, spirit, the, the, the Christ appeared to the persecutor. Mm -hmm. and, in, and, and the persecutor, this is the persecutor account before the king saying, and he spoke to us. In the Hebrew tongue, that's the point I want to make. And the whole earth, in the cardinal book of Genesis, spoke one language. It was Hebrew. That first earth was destroyed. Now we end that up with Noah and his three sons. Mm. Okay? Appreciate and so, it. my friend mm -hmm. in studio, I'm 100% with you relative to the black Christ and the kings and queens of this earth. Mm -hmm. All right. Appreciate it, Amos. I got a text right here that says... Okay, so he's in agreement. Yeah. He says, okay. All praise. I thought you were 
in I thought he was against no, it at first saying, when he started off. Amos 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 is a very astute mind. So he Okay, all praises. Yeah, Thank but, you, Amos. Follow us at IsraelUnite.org. We love you, brother. So what he's saying is that <clears throat> the first herd was destroyed. Destroyed what happened to it? it he said the first word. The first earth was destroyed because in in the book of Genesis everybody mm. spoke the same tongue, which is Hebrew. Yes, he's saying that and it was scattered. Oh, we were scattered. Right. That's why he called it Babel. He confused the tongues. Mm. That's why we speak different languages now. But when Christ comes back, all of that is going to be refreshed. The whole earth is going to be speaking one language. Wow, I got some text writers here. I got some stuff to say. Uh, one white, uh, sorry, white man taught slaves about their God psychology. Sorry, you got to text me in English. White man taught slaves about their God is a psychological scheme. It taught the slaves to associate white superiority with divine order via their white Jesus. Absolutely. I got, a, I got another call online. Good morning, caller. You're on. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. How you morning. doing? I'm good, thanks. Um, I, heard, I heard these gentlemen making some statements on the radio. It appears as if God is prejudiced. God mm. is curry favor. Is that true, gentlemen? Yes, God is prejudiced. He only deals with the nation of Israel. That, that's not true, gentlemen. I, I want you to can read I, first. Can you give me a, can you turn, give me a turn your scripture? Bible, if, you, if you can't do it, I'll read it for you. Yeah, okay, go, go ahead. On, read, read it, it for me. I, I want you to turn your Bible to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Mm -hmm. In 1 Timothy 4, 10, the Bible says, For, there are, for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men. Mm -hmm. Is that all men? Or some Who, men. Who's the all men making reference the, to? I'm gonna answer. Men, I'm gonna answer all, your question, but all, I listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Don't get emotional. Just listen. I'm gonna answer your question, but we're gonna deal. We're gonna deal accordingly, accordingly to the scriptures. And I want you to also use common sense, although some people don't have that much common sense. Um, the Bible is for the Israelites, to the Israelites, by the Israelites. That's like me going to Japan and I read their constitution, which was made for the Japanese people. And it says all men. Is that all men talking about the Arabs in Saudi Arabia? Why, when we come to the Bible, which is our constitution, we make it a universal book? Because that's been indoctrination. That's what the white man taught you. The same no. thing that you're, hold on, sir. The same thing that you're spewing right now, we've heard it before, and that's been taught to you by your oppressors. So are now, we not all let me give you of let God? me let me give you let me give you an answer. I'm gonna answer your question with one book. Give me the book of Romans, please. Let's go to Rome. We're in the New Testament, by the way. No problem. Romans what? Let's start at Romans the ninth chapter. Romans chapter nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Romans chapter 9. Read. But which, which verse? Which verse? Uh, not you. I'm going to have the brother in here read. Yeah, start but, but, at verse 1. I'm, I'm, I'm following my Bible. Start, start at verse 1. Just first one. Just first one. First one. Easy, easy there. First one. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. Mm -hmm. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bury me witness in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Mm-hmm. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ mm -hmm. for my brethren mm -hmm. and my kinsmen according to the flesh. So Paul wished that he could that he could take on the same sufferings that Christ had for his brethren. And and Paul was a kinsman of Christ. Paul was from the tribe of Benjamin. Read. Uh, hold on, before we go any further, I've got a break for news. I just realized it's it's time for the eleven o'clock. Okay. So we got to break so for the I'm 11 gonna, o'clock. I'm going to answer you. Uh, uh, stay by the radio. Yeah. I'm going to answer your question when we come and back. And when we get back from the news call, I'll have him answer your question. One that was quite quite interesting, um, the question about whether or not God was indeed racist. And uh, interestingly enough, the answer was yes. Uh, Captain Isaac? Absolutely. Uh, we left off at romans a lot of people when they read the bible mm -hmm. uh they get this this uh delusion of grand of all inclusion when they see the words all uh them uh all nations they take that as in the most high is talking about the ammonites the canaanites the hittites which are all which are uh, obviously other names today um but let's let's continue with the book of romans mm -hmm. it's okay we understand that you have been thoroughly indoctrinated by modern day christianity so we came here to give you the medicine of which is the word of god romans chapter 9 you uh, left off at verse 3 please verse 3 
For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ, for my brethren and kin sorry, for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, mm -hmm. who are Israelites. So Paul's brothers according to the flesh, skin, which comes from sex and reproduction, he says, who are Israelites, the nation of Israel. To whom pertaineth the adoption. So the adoption, Christ dying on the cross and adopting us back to the covenant, the new covenant, pertains to Israelites. Read. And the glory. The glory of all the Bible, the promises, pertain to the Israelites. Read. And the covenants. The covenants, with an S, pertain to the Israelites. Come on. And the giving of the law. The law was given to the Israelites. Read. And the service of God. The service of God belongs to who? The Israelites. Come on. And the promises. Promises to the Israelites. Read. Whose are the fathers mm -hmm. and of whom as concerning the flesh mm -hmm. Christ came. Mm -hmm. Who is over all. Mm -hmm. God blessed forever. Amen. Read on. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, mm -hmm. for they are not all Israel. For they are not all Israel, come on. Which are of Israel. Which are of Israel, meaning a lot of Israelites ain't going to get this truth. A lot of them are going to stay in their wicked ways. They're not going to want to keep the commandments. They're not going to believe on Christ. Mm -hmm. Read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. How many seed, meaning Mm -hmm. Children came out of Abraham through sex. Many nations. Many nations came mm -hmm. out of Abraham, right? Come on. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Come on. But in Isaac. But in what? But in Isaac. But in what? But in Isaac. Isaac. Mm -hmm. But in Isaac. Mm -hmm. Shall thy seed be called. Who came out of Isaac? Jacob and Esau. Who was the promise given to? Jacob. Mm -hmm. Come on. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. The people, all the other nations are the children of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Come on. These are not the children of God. Hold on, read it again. These are not the children of God. They are not the children of God. Come on. But now when it says they're not the children of God, it doesn't mean God didn't create them or cause them to be created. It means that God. God's promises and covenants don't belong to them. It only belongs to the children of Israel. Why can't we get this? You want to sit up in the kingdom of heaven with the same people that robbed, raped, and stole from you. We, we are suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters that are listening, wake up. Wake up. You are in a deep sleep. You are in a coma. Good Lord, wake up. Okay, let's hold up. Hold up. Let's continue. We ain't done yet. Come on. These are not the children of God, mm -hmm. but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. The children of the promise was mm -hmm. Jacob. Come on. For this is the word of promise. Uh -huh. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Mm -hmm. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, mm -hmm. even by our father Isaac. Come on. For the children being not yet born, Neither having done any good or evil. So the children weren't born, my friend. Mm. Jacob and Isaac weren't born, but they were, they were in the womb. Right. Fist fighting, throwing blows. Come on. Come on. That the purpose of God according to election might stand. Uh -huh. Not of works, but of him that calleth. Not of works, not what these kids were going to do, mm -hmm. but of him who calleth. Mm -hmm. Who calleth? God. Mm -hmm. God already ordained it for Jacob to be the seed. The promise is to go to Jacob. Come on. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Who's the elder child? Esau. Mm -hmm. E-S-A-U. His name was later changed to E-D-O-M. Edom. Edom today is the so-called white race. Every European on this planet Earth is known as Esau and we can prove it. Come on. As it is written. As it is written where New Testament wasn't written yet. When Paul was saying this, the New Testament was not written. He was quoting the Old Testament because Paul was a, 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 a professor, a master in the law. Come on. As it is written, mm -hmm. Jacob have I loved, uh -huh. but Esau have I hated. But Esau, wow. Did God just say he hated Esau? Did God just say he hated the white man? Did God just say that or did we make that up? Read that so, again. Uh, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. Next verse, and then I'm going to let you come in. Next mm -hmm. verse. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. God can choose. 
that's an attribute the same way you chose that clothes today you might have one more than one child but you might have one that's dear to you mm. how come how come if god said let us make man in our image why when it comes to attributes that we have the most high can't possess that did he not destroy all of egypt to rescue his children did he not say i am a jealous and a loving god don't worship any other gods mm. but all of a sudden now in bahamas 2018 we have a confusion of christianity there's something we say in america we say christianity is worse than crack the crack epidemic on the black community was something brutal but you know what my friend christianity is worse so uh, i come from a family with a lot of people right i have 18 aunties and uncles on one side 29 aunties and uncles on the next side right I, i'm a member of a little army all from the same line all from the same lineage uh, particularly on my father's side yet we all do not look the same i mean i have very very light bright nearly white mm -hmm. um, aunts mm -hmm. cousins right S same same line so when you say to me that they came out of the line of jacob right mm -hmm. I, I could i could just go right across to mini street where i'm from mm -hmm. and all of these people came out of the out of the lineage of levan yet they are of different hues mm -hmm. Are you sure we are not missing a group of people mm -hmm. for a a pigmentation? Because because I'm not gonna believe I well, I don't want to believe that there mm -hmm. couldn't have been children of Israel that over the time, due to placement on the earth, which is something that I think has been proven, mm -hmm. that the reason whiter people exist is because of where they were positioned on the earth. Mm -hmm. That many of the children of israel are also now white skinned really okay 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 so if you use that logic if you use that logic the so-called let's start with esau first the so-called white man the europeans they've been in africa for some time now for mm -hmm. some a long very long time because mm -hmm. they colonized it uh how come they themselves haven't turned brown or black like us now you have black people who've been in alaska a very cold climate for a very long time what happened to their pigmentation how yeah, come but there is only one mm -hmm. race there is one race that race is the human race this 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 variation in skin, skin pigmentation mm -hmm. is tied to so many things i mean i i can again i come from a small army that mm -hmm. we call a family yeah i have an uncle that was a lot browner in mm -hmm. his youth mm -hmm. than he is today after living in the the northernmost part of america for 30 years he does not look like the same man and I, okay. I'm, I'm almost willing to bet he didn't have a surgery but the point i'm making is uh -huh. when we talk about the lineage of jacob mm -hmm. right are we are we discounting the people that could be from the lineage of jacob that could be the children the sons and daughters of israel because we are missing it on a pigmentation issue? Well, here's the thing. It's not about pigmentation, although the white man lacks pigmentation or what we call melanin. Um, it's about the seed of Israel. It's about the nation. That's what it's been about from the beginning. Mm. It's not about color because we have people in our congregation who are very light, who might you might mistake as European, but they're not. They're from the Latin tribes or the I rather say the Hispanic mm. tribes, Puerto Rican. I got a couple of calls on the line. Let's yeah. take one or two. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Good morning, caller. You're on. Hello. Am I back? Yeah, you back. Yeah. Um, let, let, let me share a few scriptures here with the people who are listening. To what is being said, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not really. Gonna, I'm not really going to try to change these men on your mindset, but let the Bible speak for itself, and then I just go my way. Mm -hmm. I'm in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve, verse thirteen and fourteen. The Bible says clearly, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter." Fear God and keep Fear his God, commandments. Keep His commandments, but it's the whole duty of man. That's black, white, whatever you might be. For God to bring every work into the judgment, mm -hmm. every secret thing, whether it be good. Or whether it be evil. I'm not in the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. It's for those who are listening who might be a little bit confused. The Bible is clear in Titus 2, 11, for the grace of God mm -hmm. that bringeth salvation according to all men. Mm -hmm. I'm over here now in the book of Romans, chapter like 2, Romans chapter 2, scripture. verse 28 and 29. Listen carefully. For he is not a Jew, which is one, which is one inwardly. And the circumcision is that of the heart. Sorry, I, I, I said, let me start over. I'm, I'm verse 28 of Romans chapter 2. Let me start over. 
for he is not a Jew which is one outwardly neither is, is a circumcision which is outwardly in the flesh verse 29 is the key for he is a Jew which is one inwardly the circumcision of the heart in the spirit not in the letter whose prayers is not of men but of God so once the heart is transformed you become a spiritual Jew that's what the Bible is saying here no then that's of, not what it's saying Acts chapter 10 that's not wait 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on no 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on brother if you want to listen listen you're calling our platform and now what you're doing you're teaching and trying to confuse the people no, you said that the people are confused the only person that's confused is you but go ahead I'm gonna I'm gonna fix I'm gonna fix yeah I'm gonna fix his statements go ahead no problem See, the, the Bible is clear, my friend. All men uh -huh. who continue to live a life of sin when this world will be no more will find themselves lost. There will be no such thing as that when the world is made brand new, we love bad people and good people. The book of Nahum 1-9 makes this perfectly clear. Iniquity will not arise the second time. Nahum 1-9. Once Christ comes, when Jehovah comes, once God, whatever you call him comes, Nahum. And, 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 and he transforms the world and make it brand new. There'll be no more wicked people on the earth. There'll only be righteous, holy, sanctified people on the earth. That's what the Bible teaches. Okay. Right? Are you done? Right or wrong? Are Is that true? No, it's not. Are you done? That, please give me a, a please give me a scripture before I hang up. I, I need a scripture. What scripture are you using okay. to show that in the okay. new this world will be this wicked is, people? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you one scripture that sums up everything. No I'm, problem. I'm, I'm not going to go back and forth. Let's no go. Let's go to the last book of the Bible. Revelation 22. Let's go to the last book of the Bible. Okay. Good text, Revelation. It's the book of Revelation. You don't get no newer testament than that. Chapter 22. Let's get chapter 3. No problem. I'm there. Go ahead. Chapter 3. And uh, one second. You're in Revelation 22, verse 3? At Revelation 226. I'm sorry. Revelation 226. Re Revelation 220. Revelation 226. Okay. Okay. Revelation 226. And it says, Revelation. read. Let me speak, please, sir. And he Revelation. that... This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 26. Mm -hmm. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works the unto works the are end. The works are talking about the commandments. He that overcomes your own personal trials and tribulations and sin, and you keep his works unto the end. Either you drop dead first or Christ makes his second return. Read. To him will I give power over the nations. Stop. If everybody's going to be, we're in the last testament, so I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to play mm -hmm. games with no crazy Christians. Mm -hmm. Listen up. We're in the last testament. I will give power over the nations. If everybody's going to be equal in the kingdom of heaven, all nations are going to be in the kingdom of heaven, right? Because that's, yeah. that's what you're trying yeah. to push. Yeah. Amen. Listen, Amen. listen, but listen, they listen, they listen, listen, oh, listen. You're talking. You're not listening. Be slow to speak and fast to hear. It says, to him will I give power over, over the nations, mm. and he shall rule them, meaning the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Now, my question to you, if everybody is going to be equal in the kingdom of heaven, why is Christ going to give us power over the nations? The power that Christ is going to give us is not to rule over others. Hold up, stop, 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 stop. You see what I mean? Christianity is worse than crack. No. Read verse 27. It says, and he shall rule. The, he just said you shall not rule, right? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. What do you use a rod of iron for, sir? See, the, the text you read no, right I'm now. No, I'm asking you a question. The, 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 now, no, but I'm not, asking you. You, you hear him? The, the, now he's going to go, te the text that you're reading right now. The text right you're reading right ahead, now is history. This, this is no longer in effect right now. You said what? This, this text you're reading right now is, is a, part of, a part of religious history. Okay, so when did it, this occur? No, 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 no. You said it's history. I, I, I can't do the occur? exact date, but you this don't know text the date. right here, no, this text right here. You know why? You know why you, right you, know why you can't give the date? In the, is, what is it? In the, what does it say? This is the book of Doris to the end. To, so that, until that the end. That's not. That's what they do. Okay. Christians like hey, to no, tip tap, tip tap, toe around the scriptures. I have a question. I have a question. Call and I want you to listen to this. Hold on, hold on. But let me say something real quick because he said this happened in history, which he did not. Let me explain the text. It does say exactly. It's malarkey. Uh, what he's doing is spewing white man lies but it's no, not his fault no no let, let me explain um, the text during this time no let, let me let me explain the text because you don't know time, what you're reading time. let me I go have a question. let me I, go let me go hold on this was written the time of whom who wrote the book of revelation sir crickets 
John Revelator wrote a book of, of, of Revelation, a book of, okay. on the book of uh, on the Isle of Patmos. Yes, and who was ruling during his time? Um, it, it, uh, it was the Roman. It was the Roman king. I can't remember who was reigning during his that time. You call I'll know. His name was. You call the person name. I let you. That's what I agree with. His name. I'm going to give you the name. His name was Domitian, and there were rulers after him. This did not take place. This never happened. That's why Christ said until oh, no. the end. This, this, this did not happen the day of, of John the Revelator. It didn't we happen after right him either. No, this happened after that, after he died. It did not happen. The children of Israel were still in slavery. Well, I, I have a question because my question is, right, if salvation is the tool or if salvation is the gate, if the acceptance of Jesus is Lord of your life, is, is, the, is the transformation of your sinful nature into your Christly kingdom-like nature, mm -hmm. then... If we are all bought by the same blood, why are we not all a part of the same kingdom? And why are the Amen. people that are the children of darkness not the other nations that the Bible is referring to there in the book of Revelation? Amen, oh, Mr. Producer. Amen. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a easy, that's a easy. Can, can, Appreciate can, you, Carla. Thank yeah, you. Please. This guy's in my eardrum, man. Go on. All right. Oh, that's an easy question. We answered that in um, Romans, the ninth chapter. Because the seed was only promised to Jacob. We never got a chance to rule this planet Earth. So what about the blood? Because, because you know... It All right, let, let, can I show you what the blood did? Because mm -hmm. we like to talk about the blood. Mm -hmm. Get me uh, um, Acts, please, 529. Let's read down. I'm telling you, man, this is why the white man calls us the N-word. He comes here to your land. He rape, robs, and murders and continue to do so. Now you got the Chinese man on board. Because brothers like that who just called in, you can't wake up to... Uh, to see what the Bible is saying well, you get that we have enemies. The text writer wants me to put a question in here for you. Do you have a Acts five twenty nine. This is the book of Acts chapter five verse twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey God rather than men." That's to everybody listening online. We ought to obey God rather than men. Come on. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, mm -hmm. whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Mm -hmm. Him hath God exalted with His right hand to be a prince and a savior. A savior to who? For to give repentance. A repentance to who? To Israel. To give repentance to who? Israel. To give repentance to Israel. Well, that's what the blood is for. To give us repentance. To give us a second chance at getting the kingdom. Because all of us are worthy of death. I've committed idolatry in my life. I grew up in Roman Catholicism. I've created, a, um, I've uh, committed adultery before. I slept with many women. Okay, before I've committed many sins, I broke the Sabbath day. I did many things worthy of death. I ate pork before. But when we come into the knowledge of who we are and we understand that these laws belong to us, we got to repent. The key message, because the brother brought out a good scripture. And brother, I hope you don't think that I was uh, badgering you. It's just my passion. That's why I speak the way that I speak. You are still my brother. You're just in a Christian coon mind state. Now, um, the brother brought out a scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. He said the conclusion of the matter is to keep the commandments. And he's absolutely right. That is the conclusion of the matter. That is the solution to our problems. I wish we had a lot more time where I could bring out some laws. Um, but that is the conclusion of the matter. The whole thing to this is keep my commandments and live. We're just letting you know that you're the Israelites. God says you have enemies. Do not forget about your history. Because if you forget about your history, you're not going to have a future. And we have to keep the commandments of God. All right. Let me, let me get you some text messages. It says, how will your guests respond to this? You listening? Yes, sir. He was in the world and the world was made through him. And the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But to as many that received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Let me read it again for you. Mm -hmm. And this is the King James Version, John chapter 1, verse 10 through 13, in case you want to follow me. Yes, sir. He was in the world. And the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. How do you, how do you, how, what that's do, what a do you great, say in That's a great uh, question. Um, unfortunately, that's a neophytical or neophyte question, um, and we're going to deal with it. 
um the many that it said that he came unto the world and many uh did not receive him right mm -hmm. okay he came unto his own and he his came unto his own okay now my question to the caller um and you probably don't know the answer because i could tell from your question who was his own that rejected christ think about it he was in the land of jerusalem who was dwelling in jerusalem jews mm -hmm. judah benjamin and levi what happened to the other 10 tribes where were they they were scattered in the diaspora they are the ones that you read about called gentiles because they were in a gentile state of mind get me zechariah 12 verse 7 and get me no actually get me mark 8 31 first then zechariah 12 verse but, 7. but if i if i read this text mm -hmm. correctly it mm -hmm. would sound as though this there is an inclusionary clause like like there are the children of jacob mm -hmm. there is the righteous seed of jacob mm -hmm. but if you read this text the text says and and i want to go specifically to verse 13. yes sir god to, uh, sorry let's let's go let's go up to verse 12. but as many as received him to them because that, i mean that would change the context mm -hmm. to as many that received him mm -hmm. to them he gave the right to become mm -hmm. the children of god the right the people that received them were the disciples the jews that accepted christ but you had many jews that did not accept him that's why he was crucified and we're going to show you give me mark 8 31. mark 8 31. Th this is why we have to read brothers and sisters the the church teaches you that the old testament is done away with that when whenever have you read a book that has 20 chapters and you start at chapter 10 to 20 and you forget the first 10 many of you don't know that under king solomon the kingdom of israel was split into two you had Jeroboam, had judah benjamin and levi then you had jeroboam that had the 10. what happened to the 10 when christ was walking on the earth they're the ones that was in Asia Minor. They're the ones that were scattered abroad, okay, who became Gentiles, who were calling themselves Greeks and Grecians, mm. okay? Come on, read. Acts 8, sorry, Mark, Mark 8, 8, 31. Mm -hmm. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things mm -hmm. and be rejected of the elders. Mm -hmm. and he was rejected of the elders of the Jews. And of the chief priests. The chief priests of the Jews. And scribes. And the scribes of the Jews. And be killed. And be killed. And after three days, rise again. When you go to the Old Testament, it tells you about the builders, which shall reject the stone. Okay? Those builders were the Pharisees and scribes. Mm. So did the Jews reject Christ? Absolutely. We just read it. But they were Jews who accepted him. That's why he had disciples. The disciples were Jews. Okay, so the own people, his own people that rejected him were the Jews. Okay, and the other people that he went to, those were the those um, Jews in a Gentile state of mind. Okay, mainly the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel. All right, I got a couple of text writers here. To, mm. Call us, I see you on the line. I'm coming to you. I tell you, whenever we start talking about religion, these kind of things get pretty hot. So let I me get a it. couple of these it. text messages, and I'm coming to the phone line. Producer, check my calls. Make sure they're all there. Let them know I'm coming. I care about them, and I'm on my way. So I got a text right here. Let me just go through a couple of them. Mm -hmm. That says, so you're telling me we deserved slavery? Uh, you see him brainwashed badly. If this was the work of, the, of a divine God, then he is not worth following, is he? Yes, he is worth. That sounds like an atheist to me. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, um, my my atheist friend. You want me to answer it, or are you gonna no, go no, to? No, no, I just want to let me get through a couple of okay. them, and then right. and then if something stands out, you can take a swap okay. at it. Uh -huh. Um, it says, "I gotta laugh at the constant lies being told. Yahweh is the god of war. Later changed into the head deity." Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, I, I I'm yeah. comfortable. With yeah. Jesus. Next question. Uh, <laughs> I just came from Israel. I think it was the Church of the Nativity. They have pictures of the biblical scenes and dark-skinned people, and Jesus was dark-skinned. I'm not opposed to that either. I mean, just, yeah. if you just look at where he lived, yeah, he would typically yeah. be yeah. brown. Yeah, we've seen that. And I I'm just came, we came about, back from now, that now, too. now, now, now. Let me. This is as a sidestep. I'll mm. get back to the text messages, right? Because mm. I have seen Jewish black, mm. and it doesn't necessarily look like Bahamian black. Like it's a, it's like clay. They have that. Not clay. Talking clay about the, Ethi red. the Ethiopians? No, no, no. I've seen Ethiopian black. Mm. That's real black. I'm mm. talking about. I'm talking about dust black. Have you ever seen people that are uh, like the Watusis of Africa? 
know, maybe like you talking about the, the dusty uh, black? Yeah, that they look chalky, like a chalky brown. Like they need some lotion. Yeah, or like they need some more black. That's, that's just a, that's just an ashy Ishmaelite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so 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 just based on where Jesus lived, if mm-hmm. you read the Bible, I don't imagine Absolutely. he would have been a scalding. Well, Israel is in red. Africa. Israel is yeah. in Africa, Northeast Africa. Um. So what is this? So God punishes you via slavery for your sins, and you love God, but you call the ones He used to enslave you the devil. Yes, that is hugely irrational. Well, again, mm. I love me some God. I'm, mm. I'm comfortable with God. Mm. Shalom, brother. Uh, speak the truth. Only those who are the chosen, the chosen will hear Yeshua's words. Yeshua said, "My sheep know my voice, mm-hmm. and the heralding they will not follow." All praises. Uh, Zechariah 3 and 8. Oh, this is an epistle. Mm. Mr. Miller, in Genesis 6 and 4, it said, O Israel, with a Y, so I guess this is some Old Testament Hebrew, mm-hmm. Yahweh is our father. Yahweh is the one Israel, with a Y, means the 12 tribes, including Ephraim, Manasseh. Is that Manasseh? Mm-hmm. That's the entire planet. And unless we live by the covenant given to, the, to our father Abraham in Genesis 17, for him to teach his descendants after him the laws of life, which the breath of life, there wouldn't be no hope. Religion was never given. Zechariah 3, and I don't know if you want to verify that. So the scripture is Genesis 17. No, I know what he's talking about. Zechariah 3 verse 8 says, Joshua or Yahshua, the high priest, the book Ruth chapter 1, Boaz lived in in the I'm gonna making imagine reference this to Christ. Is the land of Judea, mm-hmm. not the tribe of Judea. Mm-hmm. How uh, furthermore, remember in Deuteronomy, if two brothers living in the same house, one died living, you've got to text me in English. You gotta raise your seed up for your brother. We we understand that, Paul. You can go to the next question. Yeah. I want questions. Actually, you not should statements. marry his widow, his widow mm-hmm. and, to raise up seed for his brother. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Oh, that's a cool rule. Mm-hmm. Um you guys are expert rationalizationists. Jewish people are Caucasian, not Negro. There is and never was a black Christ. The Negroes lived in sub-Saharan Africa and Arab, Middle Eastern, and Jewish Caucasian people lived north of the desert. Okay, can I answer that? Can sure. we stop right there? Please let's answer that. The person who wrote that, you're about to get the scripts right now. You're about to get some work. Give me uh, Genesis 2, verse 7. I love when a soul-deficient uh, Edomite Right, state that sound like that was from uh, <laughs> Edomite. yeah, that, that sound like amazing. it was from an it, Edomite. I want to, I want to just, I want to let you know that I'm calling people Edomites from now on. That yes, just, it just yes. sounds that's, terrible. That's the so called, yeah, that's the so called white man. He's the Edomite, <laughs> all right, just like with the Israelites. Give me Genesis don't 2, verse Edomite. 7. Genesis yeah, two. don't be a, pray for that thing. Genesis <laughs> 2, verse 7, please. Genesis 2, verse 7. Uh huh. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground, the dust of the ground, different shades of the of the ground. The, the, the deeper you dig into the earth, the browner it gets. Go to Job 30, verse 30, please, for the person who said that question about the Ashkenazi Jewish people who's been thoroughly brainwashed and you believe in white supremacy. Uh, Job 30 and 30. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Mm-hmm. My skin is black upon me. My skin, my skin, my skin, my skin is black upon me. Give me King Solomon, please. Give me Shlomo. Because that sounds like that might that question might have been from a Jewish person. So I'm going to give you the, the Ashkenazi Hebrew. Shlomo. Give me King, the Song of Solomon, please. Chapter 1, read verse 1 and then jump to verse 5. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. The songs of so- The song of songs... Which is Solomon. So Solomon wrote this. Verse 5. I am black. I am what? I am black. I am what? I am black. Uh Uh-huh. But comely. Meaning handsome. Come on. O ye daughters of (laughs) Jerusalem. Uh Uh-huh. As the tents of Kedar. Who says that? We say that. I'm black and beautiful. Hey, they have a hairline um, thing, perm yeah, and stuff yeah. for, for the woman. We say, we, he, King Solomon says, I'm black. I'm black, but I'm good looking. Exactly. I'm black and beautiful. I'm bad. I'm comely. Now what? You know, this is what King Solomon said. Mm. Christ is a direct descendant of Solomon. Revelation 114. Don't ever let an Edomite confuse you. Esau, 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 Esau. Your, your, your time of rulership is almost at an end, brother. Come on. Revelations 1 verse 14. Mm-hmm. His head and his hairs were white like wool, mm-hmm. as white as snow. So Christ had a hair full of fully white and his beard was white. 
the hair on his head was white like wool. Who has woolly hair? Black people. Oh, there we go. My brother is speaking truth to power. Black people. We got that woolly, nappy, kinky hair. So, woman, stop perming your hair. Stop dyeing your hair blonde. Love that woolly hair that Christ has and that God has. I just said God has woolly hair. And yes, I could prove that. Keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because the prophecy said that the Messiah's eyes shall be red with wine when you read Genesis 49 verse 12. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Which looks like the other parts of his body. Like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brown. But what happens when you burn it? As if they burned in a furnace. Mm. So Christ looked like he was burnt in a furnace. His forefather, King Solomon, says, I am black. Get a white man out of that. So stop your lies. If you're going to send the host questions, speak truth. I got a couple more text messages. It says, well, no, I have. Let me get to this first. Y'all got my personal phone going off now. <laughs> a new command, a new commandment was given in John 13 and 34. You may want to check it. Mm -hmm. The law was abolished in Ephesians 2, 13 to 15. And the old law put away in Galatians 4, 21 to 30. You got those? John uh, 13, 34. Yeah, Ephesians I, two thirteen fifteen and Galatians four twenty one thirty. Yeah, I can just, just for the people that are following. Let me get, let me get through a couple of more a couple more of these text messages. Yeah, because you know people get very hot and bothered when you don't read their text messages. Of course. Uh, when we worship, do we worship in our minds the image of a white man? Personally, in my mind, isn't what he looks like because I don't know. I think moreover, the spirit and the sacrifice made for our behalf. So this person is saying that they. They, they sound like me. I, I don't I don't bother myself with white Jesus, black Jesus, male Jesus, woman Jesus. I, I don't I don't get into all of that. All I know is that I believe and which is what the Bible says that I have to do, that I have to believe and confess. Okay. I believe it oh, and I oh, confess. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. Now you just we just read. No, no, no. We just, I, I've got the revelation description. So do you believe that? Yes, I'm saying to you that I believe that's what he looked like. Okay. What I'm saying is I'm not prepared to fight anybody that believes he looks oh otherwise. no we're not here to fight no and so and so for me mm. it is almost as it is it is it's like i tell people you asked me about my sons earlier mm. and like i tell people all the time i don't think they care about leaving miller the radio host they don't care about leaving miller the politician they don't care about leaving miller the bus driver they don't what they care about is the relationship that they have with me and that relationship is father and son mm -hmm. right and 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 that is where they get their value of me from. Yes, sir. That is the way I feel about God. So I don't bother myself with mm -hmm. all of the other things. Mm -hmm. What I what I put value on is the relationship, mm -hmm. right? And it is through that relationship I I have my reverence. I I, I have God as the supreme being in my life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So so this the, the person that sent that just now is saying that they worship when they worship they don't worship a, a white image in their head. They worship. They worship uh, uh, God through the relationship that they have, and I think that's, I think that's reasonable. I, I, I could I could subscribe to that. I have another uh, text right here. Oh, they they're very excited. Mm -hmm. Morning. <clears throat> there are no black Israelites. As long as they are using the Bible, it is a fairy tale. The Bible is a historical book. I don't believe that. Quoting the Bible is not historical, Amos. Hold it. Didn't he, he said the Bible is a historical? But he book? did say that in the first. You see what I mean? Christianity's yeah. crack. Next question. Christ is not coming back because Christ does not exist. Well, okay. I so. just want to say that if you're wrong, you're in big <laughs> trouble. <laughs> you know, it's like listen, big it's, trouble. Big having trouble. Some God is like having good car insurance, right? So you could drive your car without it, right? And you may never get in an accident. But boy, if you get in an accident. So just in case, right? <laughs> I can have me some blessed assurance just in the event. I mm. reach to the gate, I can say, hey, Jesus, this me. You know I love me some Jesus. You got to let me in. And boom, I could be going good. So let's just hope. Because you lose nothing, right? You, mm. you, don't, you may not gain anything from... Oh, you're going to gain a lot. No, what I'm saying, even if you don't gain anything, mm -hmm. you certainly couldn't lose anything. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got more. Gotta love these hoteps. They are always funny to listen We're to. We're not hoteps. We're Israelites. Don't their, get that confused. Their wokeness is... You've got to text me in English. We're not hoteps. There ain't no hotep. We ain't pushing Egyptology. That's not mm. us. You got us confused. Put it's, some respect on it. We says, are the Israelites. Good morning. 
Levin Miller. Good show. Tell your guests to advise their brothers and sisters in Nassau and other parts of the Bahamas to use louder, clearer speakers and or sound systems as they teach or minister their doctrine in various public places around Nassau and other parts of the Bahamas. If more people passing by can hear them better and clearer, they can be more effective in reaching more people. Absolutely. And we're going to make sure we get a good speaker. Is that right, Elijah? That's correct. All right. So someone says here that they think that you're that these men are insulting and it's annoying. I've heard Christians do exactly what they're doing, mm-hmm. and my response is always the same. So why in the Dickens would I Dickens? Ah, so that's a cute word. Would I listen to anything you have to say if you're going to continuously tell me how dumb or evil I am? Both groups need to try well uh, inclusionary hold, let, let, language. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say Please. something to that. Nobody said nobody. I never said anybody was dumb. What I did say is that Christianity is crack. That's all I said. Mm-hmm. All I said is Christianity is worse than crack. I never called anybody. Listen, anybody on the island of Bahamas that's paying attention. I never said anybody was dumb. But I did say Christianity is worse than crack. Now, can I answer some questions, please? I'm. Give okay. me, give me two oh. more minutes, and I know, I know you're burning up. I see, I see you keep flipping the Bible. Mm-hmm. I just got to get these texts right. We read color all throughout the Bible. Now, whether you believe it or not, that's on you. But it is important. The same way, if somebody came to you with a picture of an Asian lady and said, "This is your mom," you would be like, "Hell no, that's not my mom. I know how my mom looks." So what is wrong when it comes to the identity of our Lord and Savior according to the Bible? It's very important because it was so important that the white the white man found it suffice to change it. Mm. He had to change it because he knew what that image would do to our minds. He knew that image would correct the phenomenon in the Negro. Okay? He went so far but to whitewash our images and change everything because he knew that image is everything. But to the black man and black woman, image is nothing. Unbelievable. Get me uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. For people that say, I have a relationship with him. You do have a relationship with him. Is it a good relationship or is it a bad relationship? That's the question. Come on. 1 John 2, verse 4. Mm-hmm. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. Verse 3. Verse 3. Verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him. You know God. You have a relationship with God. Come on. If we keep his commandments. Verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. If you don't keep God's commandments, come on. Is a liar. You're a liar. Mm. God is calling you a liar. L-I-A-R. Capitalize all those let's letters. Let's go to the phone lines. You line. are a liar. And we didn't break. And we didn't take a break. But let's go to the phone lines. We don't need no break. We'll keep going. <laughs> Good morning, caller. You're on Let's Talk Live. Hello. Hey, how are you? Yeah, bless it. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Yeah, man. Uh, let, let the brother know uh, I agree with everything what he was saying, basically, just about, you know what I mean? He got to forgive these Negroes. Mm-hmm. I really, and truly, you know, we, we, we have lost the uh, ancestral connection with our ancestors and our uh, innateness with the earth mm-hmm. and paying homage to natural uh, rituals and stuff and just customs and traditions. And so, a question is, Everybody keep talking about the Bible with the Hebrew, right? And mm-hmm. so we, we know that it also mentions Aramaic, right? Okay. And so that's a cognate language, which is a sister language. It is also an Ethiopian language. So obviously we should know. And I, and, and I want you to refer to this when I hang up because it, it, it says, out of the, out, it, the Bible also says, I come out of the land of Egypt. And so, and so there was no borders before these, uh, these times. And I'm glad he mentioned the fact that miscegenation because this is something I mentioned yesterday about miscegenated blacks arriving uh, via the Dutch uh, East India Trade Company so they were light skinned blacks due to the Muslim invasions and European invasions mm-hmm. and now I see where Abraham of eight sons right mm-hmm. and only Isaac and Jacob is mentioned we know he had Ishmael he had mm-hmm. Isaac he had Zemron he had mm-hmm. Meda he had Median Ishbak Shua and Jokshan mm-hmm. but yet still the focus is on oh, Esau and, tribe. and Jacob. E- 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 Esau, Esau and, Isaac, Esau and Jacob uh, brought forth the 12 tribes. Mm-hmm. No, just Jacob. They have just Jacob is bringing forth the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? And so the question is, I agree with him that the Bible is adulterated. In, 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 they, have, they have revised it and revised it so, much, so many times. I don't think we could ever arrive at the truth. But this the, Christianity is the only religion where it has so many different sects. And then it, 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 the papacy transubstantiates the presence of Jesus Christ, saying he's the vicar of Christ. 
which is paganism in itself. Mm -hmm. All right? And my question is, what I want you to refer to this to. And Paul was by his, and Saul, who changed his name to Paul, and he was by, and he was by himself on his way to Damascus. Uh, no, he was not by himself. Yeah, no, he was I, not by himself? No, no, I don't think he was. All right, but I mean, isn't it ironic that he's the one who carry the, 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 the Christian religion to Rome, but yet still they kill him? And he's the one in the, in the first Christian council in Jerusalem, whereby Paul and Barnabas represented the Gentiles, and John and, 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 and Peter represented the Jews, and, 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 and Paul was imposing that they did not adhere to the laws of Moses. And Paul is not the one that said, where there's no law, there's no transgression. You yeah. have to pick up the crowd as far as the Christian religion. These are the things that got a lot of people on board. But you see, where there's no law, there's tr no transgression. What that sounds like to you? Where there's no law, there's You're no making excuse. Hello? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. No, what I'm saying is Paul is one who came up with the ideology for the numbers to get people to join. He, it was, they were supposed to adhere to the laws of Moses. No no meat with blood in it, no worship on idols, and uh, no fornication, right? Or yeah. adultery. Mm -hmm. And those were the three main laws that, 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 that Paul, Paul, uh, Peter was asking the Gentiles to adhere to, the mm -hmm. laws, ancient laws of Moses, mm -hmm. in order for them to join the religion. All right? And so explain to me the difference between a Hebrew and a Jew, and I'll hang up. Appreciate oh. you, Carla. A Jew is one that comes out of the seed of Judah. Also, Benjamin and Levi were also referenced as Jews. Esau was a Hebrew. All right, let's take some calls. We got let's take these calls quickly because we're almost on the show. Actually, can I can I answer? Can I give one statement? Go on. Revelation fourteen verse twelve for the people that made reference about the law being done away with. This is, uh, once again, we don't get no newer testament than the book of Revelation. Right. Come on. Revelations 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Who's the saints? Israel. Come on. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. The Bible is redundant. The Bible always talks about the commandments from the Old Testament to the New. So this whole thing about the laws being done away with is absurd. It's absurd. Once again, Christianity is worse than crack. If you're offended, there's nothing I could do. Just keep the commandments and live, brothers and sisters. We love you. This is not hatred. We love you. <laughs> Let's go to the phone line. Good morning, caller. You're on. Yeah, good morning, gents. How y'all doing? Good. Good morning. Uh, I love y'all too, man. You know, y'all speaking from the truth. I don't know if y'all speaking the truth. Um, I, I just have a quick question, right? Mm -hmm. I wish I could engage you guys longer related to the whole issue of image and the white Jesus and stuff, even though one of the... It's been a long show, Carla. Made no image, right? Mm -hmm. But let, let's leave that one alone for now. And let me just ask you a question as it relates to Paul. New Testament ah, He went to Athens, which is in Greece. Mm -hmm. He saved the man, um, the Roman God. That's, that's Rome. That's Italy. That's the white man. Mm -hmm. Right? So if all these people recorded in the Bible from these countries in these nations, these kindred, these tongues, which are of the European races, were saved in the Bible. How did it, what, what happens when the white man mixed with the black man? How do you identify that race? How do you okay. exclude you, you that mean, individual? So you, what I'm really trying to understand mm -hmm. is, as an Israelite, how do you determine who was an Israelite? Okay. I think that was the question that I had earlier because if, 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 if I don't know how long you've been tuning in, caller, but the question I had earlier was, I come from a family that is almost big enough to be a tribe on its own, and I have some aunties that are very, very close to white. Right? How do you how do you not mistake those people for being Gentiles? I'll read it. Can I read it? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to go back. Go back to Deuteronomy twenty eight. Let's finish that. Just jump to verse forty seven. Verse forty seven. This is the identification of who the Israelites are. Our job, brothers and sisters, like the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice in John 10, 27. Our job is to teach. The people come in. All right. And when the Christ comes back, he's going to separate the goats from the sheep. Mm -hmm. OK, you're not going to get the kingdom if you're a heathen. Are you going to be there? Yeah, but you're going to be a servant in the kingdom. OK, read um, Deuteronomy 28, 47, please. Deuteronomy 28, 47. Mm hmm. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, mm -hmm. therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. We didn't want to serve God. We wanted to serve the other nations. We wanted to worship their idols. We wanted to um, worship their traditions, follow their traditions. God said, because of that, you're going to serve your enemies like we do today in Bahamas ever since we got off those ships. Read. In hunger and in thirst 
And in nakedness, in hunger, you got to go to your enemies. In thirst, Aquafina, Poland Springs, whatever. You don't pay your water bill, they cut it off. In clothing, the clothes on your back, sir, that you mm -hmm. have on was made from the other nations. Come on. And in want of all things. Whatever you need, marriage license, death certificate. You want to buy land, you need a student loan, education, you got to go to your enemies. Come on. And he. And who? And he. The same enemy, he. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who put yokes of iron on our necks? The Europeans. The Europeans. Thank mm -hmm. you. And that's a great answer. You answered that directly. Most people start to stutter and they get a brief, case, a brief case of amnesia. But I'm glad you said that. You're right. The Europeans. Okay. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. And we were until dispensation of time. We were destroyed. The yokes of iron came off. Now we're calling ourselves Bahamian. Now we're calling ourselves Haitian. Now we're calling ourselves Black American. We're speaking the oppressor's language. We're following his traditions. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, and so forth. Okay, get me verse uh, 49. Come on. 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, mm -hmm. from the end of the earth, mm -hmm. as swift as the eagle flieth. As flyeth. swift Please. as the eagle, eagle, eagle flieth. Come on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We didn't understand a European man's language. Now it said the eagle. What nation of people? And I want you to answer. Is the, is the, is the brother still online? No, I think he's gone. Okay. What nation of people uses the eagle as an emblem? You're on. The Americans. Who else? I don't know. I just the know British. That. The French used the eagle, Napoleon. Mm -hmm. The Russians used the eagle at one time. Mm -hmm. Hitler used the eagle. All European nations use the eagle. That's for you brothers and sisters who say, why are you following the Bible as a white man's book? Or it's a, a myth, a book of myth. All right. The myth is your mind, not the Bible. Give me verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. Did we ever, as a nation of people, did we ever go back into literal Egypt? No. No. God says, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Egypt means bondage, slavery. Exodus 20, verse 2. Just to show you so you don't think we're making it up. Mm -hmm. God referred to Egypt as slavery, bondage. Mm -hmm. Come on. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Go back to um, Deuteronomy. When God refers to Egypt, he's referring to bondage. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery. Again, with ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. Airplane. Ships. We walk there. Ships. Car. Ships. What ships did we go into slavery with? Did we ever go into slavery on ships? Mm -hmm. That fits our people. Whether they're light skinned black and they almost look white, if they can identify with the curses and their forefathers went through slavery, more than likely they are the Israelites. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org